Hello everyone! Welcome to a special video for Teru Show, which will give you the last piece of puzzle about Daishio's past before we get to the storyline finale. Special thanks to my lovely patrons, you are keeping this channel going. You really aren't going to tell me where we are going? Terushima just grinned, his eyes focused on the road ahead of them. If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. Daisho sighed. They had been on the way for almost two hours, and he still had no idea what Terushima's plan was. He was just told to pack and get excited. Not that he didn't trust Terushima, but he would still prefer to know what he was packing for. He knew his boyfriend was planning something for the last two weeks or so, but otherwise, he was left in dark. He snapped out of his thoughts when a warm hand covered his, making him realize he was clenching his hands without even noticing. I promise it's a nice surprise. I'm not planning anything bad. Dasha let out a shaky breath, realizing he was sitting stiff like some branch. I know. I trust you. It felt strange to put himself into someone else's hands again. It brought back memories he would rather forget. But this time, it was different. Terushima was different. And Daisho trusted him more than anyone in the world. Terushima flashed him one of his bright smiles, almost instantly melting the invisible eyes that settled over Daisho's heart, and twining their fingers together. You'll love it. You'll see. It's amazing there. And I made sure there is stuff to do that you enjoy. Daisho's heart fluttered. He clasped Terushima's hand in both of his, holding slightly convulsively, but he couldn't stop himself. Terushima didn't seem to mind, his thumbs rubbing small circles into Daisho's skin. You'll be there soon, so you'll see for yourself. You are amazing, you know that? Only for you, love. Oh hey, see that over there? That's where we are heading. Daisho looked forward, and sure enough, he spotted a roof appearing in between the trees surrounding the road. Onsen? Not just any onsen. This one is a whole vacation destination. And the best thing is, it's family owned, so everything is super cozy. And on top of that, it's really calm there, since not many people know about it. He sounded so proud Daisho couldn't not smile. He couldn't really comprehend how much work his boyfriend put into their short vacation just so they sure would feel well. He wouldn't complain against anything Terushima could come up with as long as they were together, but the care he put into everything made his heart melt. They parked in front of one of the bigger buildings soon after spotting the roofs. Daisho had to admit Terushima was right about the place, the serenity settling around him immediately. What do you think? It looks amazing. I love it already. Terushima grinned, apparently satisfied with the response, and entwined their fingers together. And you haven't seen the best part yet. Come on, let's get the keys. Dasha followed him inside where he supposed the reception desk was located, feeling like a little wonderstruck kid as he slowly took in all the beautiful decor around them. If he didn't know better, he would say they teleported into the past. There were only a few people around, mostly the employees if he could judge by the uniforms. They all nodded at them in a silent greeting as they walked by, their eyes and smiles warm as the sun outside. It's fine, all's good. Welcome, how can we help you? Hello, we should have a room booked here. I shall let Terushima deal with the receptionist and the necessities needed for them to get the keys, and continued to study all the various paintings and tapestries on the walls. It had been a long while since he last visited an onsen, several years in fact, before everything took a turn for worse. He shivered, shaking his head to stop the sudden surge of memories, his hand subconsciously straying to his wrist and the still visible pale line on his skin, one of the reminders of those horror-like three days. Stop, it's gone. It's been a long time. Alright, that's everything I need for now. Here's your key. Your room is all the way to the left. Uh, anything else? Hey, you are. The changing room needs more towels. Dasha's blood ran cold. 
He stayed frozen in place, unable to even breathe, his stomach turning. That voice. He knew that voice. He knew it all too well. He desperately wished he was wrong, that it was just some wild coincidence, but a short look over his shoulder was enough to make him feel like fainting. His voice hitched when their gazes met. He quickly turned his head away, praying it wasn't realization he saw flash in the man's eyes. Feeling his hands trembling, he subconsciously clutched Terushima's hand. Terushima reacted immediately, deep concern mirroring on his face. What's wrong? You are paler than the wall. What's going on? Daisho only managed to shake his head, his voice betraying him. But Terushima understood. I'm sorry, is there a bathroom around here? My partner feels sick. Oh, yes, just down this hallway and go left. Is everything all right? Yes, it will be. Thank you. Daisho didn't even notice they were walking until Terushima closed the bathroom door behind them. He didn't shatter his knees on the tiles when they buckled under him only because Terushima caught him in time and helped him kneel down slowly before settling in front of him. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. Tell me what's wrong. I'll help you if I can, I promise. The only sound leaving Daisho's mouth was a weak whimper. In a search of despair, he grabbed Terushima's hands, holding on to them for dear life. What are the chances? Why? Why? Sugu. I'm sorry. No, 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 don't be. It's fine. Just take a deep breath, okay? I'm with you. No one's going to hurt you, I swear. A choked sob tore from Daisho's throat. If it was about anyone else, he would believe Terushima. But this was different. Much, much worse. What am I supposed to tell him? He put so much effort into this and now... He won't leave it just at that. What if he gets hurt? What if... Maybe it really is just a coincidence. Maybe I was wrong. He wouldn't be let out this soon, right? Suku? I... I'm fine. Terushima frowned, squeezing his hands tighter. No, you aren't. I'm not blind. You never panic like this without a reason. No, I... I swear it's nothing. I just... I wasn't in an onsen since... since the... The guilty look in Terushima's eyes broke his heart. Oh shit, did I remind you of that stuff? Fuck, I'm such an idiot. I'm so sorry, love. I wasn't even thinking about that. Yuji, no, it's... it's not your fault. It's fine. I'm... I'm fine. Just give me a moment. Terushima didn't look convinced in the slightest. And Daisho was neither, to be honest. The lie sounded dumb even to his own ears. Still, Terushima didn't pry and continued to gently stroke the backs of his hands until Daisho's breathing calmed down a bit. Are you sure you'll be fine? We don't have to go to the baths if you don't want to. Or we can just go home if this is too uncomfortable for you. I don't mind. No. No, no, it's fine. I... It was just a flash. It's going to be okay. Let's just... Let's just go ahead. Terushima watched him for a long moment before sighing and kissing his hands. Okay. But promise me you'll tell me if you feel another panic attack coming. You'll recognize it anyway. I promise. They stayed on the cold bathroom floor for a few more minutes before Daisho finally managed to get his breathing and the shaking under control. Once again, he was reminded of how incredibly lucky he was to meet Terushima and even be his boyfriend. But right now, it was also a problem. Not for Daisho, but for Terushima. Is everything alright? Should we call an ambulance? No, no, thank you. Everything is fine. Sorry for the troubles. We'll go get our luggage if that's okay. They slowly carried the two bags through the long, darkened hallway towards the room that was about to be their spot to stay for the next four days. A strange silence settled between them, though Daisho was sure it was because Terushima was thinking hard about something. He also didn't stop looking around, but he couldn't see anything resembling the man from before. Still, his heart was beating like crazy the whole time. 
Oh crap, I forgot the keys. Dasha blinked in surprise when Terushima dropped his bag on the ground and rushed back to the reception building. I'll be right back, no worries. Letting out a shaky breath, Daisho clenched the bag handle in his hand, forcing himself to stay calm. He accounted it for being so rattled, but just not having Terushima around scared him. Especially when he was left alone in the dark hallway. It's fine, everything is fine. Yuji will be back soon and... I knew it was you. The terrified scream got caught in Taisho's throat. He wanted to turn around to at least not have the man behind his back, but his legs were as if nailed to the floor. I... I don't know what you are talking about. His heart jumped into his throat when he heard the heavy footsteps coming closer. You think cutting your hair will make me not recognize you? Suguru? A strangled cry escaped Daisho's mouth when a heavy hand fell on his shoulder, spinning him around to face the face he never wanted to see again. He instinctively held his back in front of him and stepped back, his legs threatening to send him to the floor any moment. You think you could get away from me that easily? I let you slip away once, but that's not going to happen again. Taisho's heart stopped, but before the hand could reach him, Another set of footsteps came rushing close. Hey! Get away from him! A split second later, Terushima was by his side, positioning himself between him and the man, a look of pure fury on his face. Don't touch what's not yours! Now go away before I speak with your employer! The man narrowed his eyes at Terushima, but stepped back after all. Cold shivers ran down Daisho's spine when their eyes met. We are not finished. With that, he disappeared down the hallway. A dull thud echoed from the walls when Daisho's knees gave up, sending him on the floor. Terushima was by him immediately, his hands hovering in the air as if he wasn't sure what to do. Sugu? Sugu, can you hear me? You have to breathe, come on! It was then Daisho realized his breathing was so rapid and shallow his head started to feel light, Terushima's voice barely reaching him through the thundering of his heart in his ears. But his body just refused to listen, his mind drowning him in the flood of images, smells that turned his stomach, and touches that left his skin crawling. He still remembered it all. The dark room smelling of mold and rot, the feeling of rope cutting into his flesh, the harsh hand jerking his head up and holding it in place. The powerlessness. The pain. The fear. He still remembered everything. How could he be so naive to think it was gone? He curled into a ball and screamed, hot tears dripping on the floorboards. Why? 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 A warm weight draped over him, but instead of danger... There was safety to be found in the touch, and the soft, desperate words whispered into his ear. It's okay, love. You are safe, I promise. Please just take a deep breath. Everything is fine, I swear. Using all his remaining willpower, Daisho followed the voice, taking a shaky breath. Then one more. Then another. The whole time, he held onto Terushima's voice as if it was his life boy, hanging on it tooth and nail. His head spun and his throat scratched when he finally sacked into Terushima's arms, only his shoulders now jerking with uncontrollable sobs. Terushima tightened his embrace, his own breath shaking a bit when he spoke. There, it's okay. Just let it all out. You are safe. No one will hurt you again, ever. I won't let them. Yuji. Yeah, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. I'm with you. Always. Taishio knew. It felt like a whole eternity before he was able to raise his head, his vision still fuzzy and whole body weak. But the sight of his own ray of sunshine helped to keep him grounded in reality, the memory world but a dark shadow now. Terushima's eyes were widened and worried, his own tears hanging on his lashes until he hastily wiped them away. How do you feel? Is it better? Do you need something? I'll do everything I can to help. Just say a word and... He stuttered when Dashiell threw himself around his neck, 
but then quickly engulfed him in a tight embrace, rubbing small circles into his back. Just stay with me. Please. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry I touched you before, but I... I didn't know what to do because you looked in pain and I panicked. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't. Daisho shook his head, his heart shattering upon hearing the guilt lacing Terushima's voice once again. It helped. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm glad for that. He pulled away a bit but didn't let go. Who is that guy? You know him, don't you? Yuji, please tell me. I've never seen you panic so much like today. He said you slipped away, so you have to know each other. Who... who is it? Hearing the silent plea in Darushima's voice, Dasho hesitantly raised his still trembling hand, the white scar now almost invisible against his pale skin. He's... he gave me these. Darushima froze, his mouth opening without any words coming out for a moment. He's... he's the one who... You recognized him in the lobby, didn't you? That's why... Sugu... Why... Why didn't you tell me then? Do... Do you not trust me anymore? Of course I do. More than anyone in the world. I just... He let his hand fall into his lap and looked away. I was hoping I was wrong. That it was just some coincidence. And... I didn't want you to get hurt. I didn't want him to know about you in case he... He couldn't continue, the sour taste gathering in the back of his throat. I'm sorry. Of course, in an attempt to keep Terushima from harm, he managed to hurt him himself. Made him think he didn't trust him. What a great boyfriend he was, pulling Terushima into the whole mess because he was too kind to refuse. Let's go home. Daisho snapped out of his thoughts. Home? But we just arrived. You put so much planning into this, you don't... Terushima squeezed his hands, the determination settling on his face not enough to mask the sadness in his eyes. I'm not letting him be anywhere near you. I don't care how much I put into this, you are more important to me. Your safety is more important. I won't let him hurt you again. Daisho wanted to protest, but there was nothing he could say to make Terushima change his mind when he said it on something. Besides, he got lucky this time, but just imagining meeting his ex again made him want to vomit. I'm sorry, Yuji. Shaking his head, Terushima got up and held his hand out to Daisho to help him up too. It's not your fault, just his. Is everything all right? We heard screaming. Terushima clenched his jaw and grabbed both of their bags. We are leaving. The key is over there. Don't bother with the deposits. Oh, is something out of order? Yes, this whole place, apparently. He took Daisho's hand and gently tugged him towards the exit. Before they left, however, he turned back to the stunned receptionist. Tell your employer to check the employee's past next time. One of his workers has a pretty messed up criminal record. I would watch your back around him if I were you. The drive back was a silent one. It wasn't the tense silence Daisho expected, but neither of them seemed to be in a talking mood. Yuji, I... Don't you dare to apologize. Daisho paused, taking a little hitched breath when Terushima squeezed his hand. This is the better option, really. You'll be home and safe. That's what matters. But you paid for all this and you probably won't even be able to get it back. How do you want me not to feel bad about messing up our vacation? First, I don't care about money. Not in this case. And second, you didn't mess up anything. It's not your fault that guy is a complete psychopath. I can't believe anyone would hire someone like him. Or let him get out of the prison for the matter. Dasho's shoulders fell. He knew the sentence was about to end sooner or later, but he didn't expect it to be this soon. He hoped they would at least let him know his tormentor was allowed to walk free again, but apparently he had too much faith in the justice system. 
He folded his head into his palms, barely stopping himself from crying as despair washed over him. This is a nightmare. Hiroshima gently rubbed his shoulder, sending light jolts through his skin. He won't hurt you again, I promise. He'll have to go through me to get to you. Panic rose in Daisho's chest. Yuji, no. You have no idea what he's capable of. I, I can't let you get hurt because of me. I know what he's capable of just from what you told me. And I'll be damned if I let it happen again. Yuji. Terushima gave him a soft smile, taking his hand away from his face and bringing it to his lips to leave a kiss on his wrist. I promise I'll be careful. But in return, I need you to trust me. Can you do that for me? Tasha opened and closed his mouth a few times, unable to find the right words to say. He didn't want Terushima to get into the line of fire. The prospect of his beloved getting hurt because of him made him physically sick. But in the end, it wasn't his decision to make. He could just stand by his boyfriend's side and hope for the best. I trust you. Terushima smiled, kissing his fingers. All right, let's put on some music now, hmm? The silence is getting too much. Despite everything, Dasha couldn't stop the smile of his own making its way to his face, a pleasant warmth spreading through his chest as Terushima started to sing along to his favorite songs. It's two of us now. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs>